So I have Rainbow Moonstone and Black Moonstone. Now Rainbow Moonstone has recently been proven to actually be white Labradorite. So we have a version of Labradorite and a version of Moonstone, and let's talk about them. These two make you very aware of everything going on around you, and I can't decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's a really good thing because then you can get a handle on all the things that you have to do, but then you're annoyed because you realize all the things you have to do. But in reality, it's an extremely comforting, calming, grounding, uplifting, and very feminine energy that we're working with here. It's very magical, it's very mysterious. I feel my intuition coming into play. I feel present. I feel it drawing forth the concept of consciousness, like being a conscious observer in my life. I feel the ability that I could go and do what I wanted and get done what I needed, and I have the ability to draw to me and manifest what I want. It's actually a fairly light energy. Some of these pairings that I do, the energy is really heavy and buzzy and strong and assertive, but these two together are sort of like watching the most beautiful ballet. They just are lovely, but they're so strong, but so delicate and so perfect at the same time. The Black Moonstone is definitely more grounding than the Rainbow Moonstone. And I actually really feel these two right in the center of my head, which would be considered the third eye. So it's really stroking my intuition, activating it. Um, it's helping me to be more perceptive. I think these two would be really good to help with stress relief. They're very calming. If you needed to relax at the end of the day, if you needed to sleep better, I think you could hold these two stones and they would help you sleep better. Interestingly enough, I think they would produce better communication. I think they would help you sort of speak your truth. These two aren't normally considered traditional throat stones, but they really would help activate the throat. They'd also be very good for channeling if you were attempting to learn how to channel. You could use these two to help see the future. All in all, very nice comforting pairing, really lovely, really magical, really mysterious, very light, very fine. If you had trouble stepping into your feminine energy and you needed to bring it forward, I would use these two. These two would also teach you a lot about duality and how we exist in duality on this planet. Thank you.